Well, joining us on the line now from London is Middle East expert Mr. Zaid al Isa. Mr. Isa, welcome to the program. The death penalty for a critic and prominent cleric. What do you think about the charges brought against him, and how will this decision be viewed in the eyes of the international community? Well, uh, these charges are absolutely base baseless and totally groundless. They are totally unfounded, and they, I could say they are a travesty of justice and make a mockery of what is called to be the legal system in Saudi Arabia, which is actually non-existent. And that is according to reputable international uh, uh, agencies like Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International. The evidence is always fabricated and it is extracted using uh, the worst types of torture. And those who are accused, particularly in Nimr, have been denied any access to a lawyer or indeed to any legal representation. They have been denied any access to his family. They haven't been able to establish his whereabouts since he has been kidnapped by the so-called uh, security services. And he has simply called for basic human rights. He has called for an end to the virulent intolerable discrimination and the unbearable abuse and the widespread persecution of the Shias in Saudi Arabia in the eastern province, which happens to be the wealthiest and the oil-rich part of Saudi Arabia. Those people in this area have been subjected to intolerable discrimination. They have been treated like second-class uh, citizens. There is widespread unemployment, widespread uh, persecution of those people and he has simply called on his people to stand up to the Saudi regime and defy the Saudi regime. We must know, we must remember that there has been uh, a popular uprising raging in the eastern province and this has spread from Bahrain where the Saudi regime has occupied and invaded this country uh, to quell the protests and to placate the demands of the overwhelming majority of Bahrainis who are demanding, again, uh, basic human rights, political reform. And we have to remind ourselves that these protests are peaceful protests. The protesters in both of the eastern province and also in Bahrain, they are peaceful protests demanding human rights, demanding political reform, and we have to say that the United States, which is the staunchest and the closest ally of Saudi Arabia and has been propping up the Saudi regime in the face of internal and, and popular uprisings which have swept Saudi right. Arabia. Now, the regime... Yeah. Mr. Ali Saab, uh, touching up on, on what you just said, how significant are the protests and demonstrations that are taking place at the doorstep of the House of Saud? Well, I have to say that the protests have been successful in actually moving from Bahrain into, uh, into the eastern province, which have been uh, swept by, prote by protests uh, for two years now, for ongoing protests for the last two years. But what is more significant is that those, this popular uprising have actually surmounted the impregnable Saudi regime's defense, which have been sectarian divisions by actually moving to the heartland and uh, to the areas where the Saudis have their die-up supporters, and that is to the uh, areas, uh, the, Sunni, uh, the Sunni areas of Saudi Arabia. We must also remind ourselves that the Saudi regime is dependent on the Wahhabi Salafi establishment, which props up the regime, which gives them religious legitimacy and religious justification, whereas the overwhelming majority of Saudis are Sunnis. And those people have been deceived for, the, uh, for a long time by the Saudi regime's uh, 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 regime claims that it is the guardian and the defender of Sunnism, whereas in reality and the popular uprisings around the Arab world, in Egypt, in Yemen, and also in Tunisia have shown that the Saudi regime is supportive, supportive of dictatorships, of supportive of currents against the will of even Sunni Muslims, who are the dominant, uh, uh, the, 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 dominant uh, the dominant forces in those uh, regions. So we've seen that the Saudi regime has gone out of its way to spearhead and to okay. be at the forefront of opposing 
popular uprisings around the Arab world and okay. the Muslim world. Thank you very much. That was uh, Middle East expert from London, Mr. Zaid Al-Issa. Thank you very much for contributing to the program.